Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Agri for Sure, a unit of your Clarity for Sure, which is known for giving highest number of results in NABAT Grade A. Right. So we will uh, today try to discuss life cycle of an hen and uh, drums associated with the overall life cycle of hen because this topic is very, very, very important both for your NABAT examination and also for your IBPS A4 examination. So we will see all the terms and terminologies what they can be asked. If you go through this chart, right, nothing more can be asked. Right. Uh, about this so let's discuss one by one so that you remember the things sequentially right and you do not confuse up with the thing right how many weeks how many days which uh, right in which stage it is called what so we'll discuss each and everything so first we'll start with the house right house what is this house the house of uh, the poultry where they live a house where the chicken lives is called as coo this is the first thing you should know the house is known as coo Right. What is this term pecking order? Many terms we come across in poultry, the term pecking order. Pecking order is nothing but it is a social hierarchy, right? Social hierarchy associated with the poultry birds. The poultry bird, which is the strongest, which is having the strongest beak, right? Dominates over the all the flocks, right? So uh, the social order or the social hierarchy as per the dominance is known as pecking order. So this is the first two term from where we have started. Now in this scoop, right? Uh, there will be living two type of right entities. The first entity we can call it as hen, and the second entity we call it as rooster. So what is hen? An adult female chicken, right? Adult female chicken, which is a very common word everybody is knowing, is known as what? Hen. And adult male or mature chicken is known as rooster. Now, when we use this term adult, right? Or we use the term mature, what does this indicate? This indicate that their age is above 20 weeks. Whenever we say adult or mature, or whenever we use the term hen or rooster, we mean that the age they have surpassed is above 20 weeks of age. So this is the two things you have to remember. Above 20 weeks age, we call it as hen or rooster. Now there are two things. <clears throat> the physiological appearance, if you go for the hen and the rooster. Sometimes, what happens, you have seen this red uh, mass-like structure in the head of cock or the rooster. We call it as quam. And we can see fleshy structure from the beak, right, below the beak of hen, then we call it as vattel, right. So there are two terms they ask in the examination, vattels, vattels are associated with poultry birds, that is a fleshy structure below their beak, and com is very common word as most of you might be knowing, this is uh, the red fleshy in the, right, rooster. Another term that we uh, get from the physical appearance, right, a physical appearance term we have seen com, we have seen vattel, another physical appearance term is henny feather. Do you know what is henny feather? Anybody? But do you know what is henny feather? Henny feather means when the male bird, right? When the male bird, that is rooster, develops feather that is similar to the female bird, right? So you can see the feathers of the female bird and the male bird are different. But if the male bird is having feathers similar to the uh, female bird, then we call it as a henny feather, right? This was the uh, another term that you can remember. So we have till now covered coo, hen, vattel, rooster, henny feather. These are certain terms. Now, what is another term is straight run. Straight run means unsexed group of chicks. Unsexed group of chicks means when the chick are just say a uh, few days or few uh, weeks of old. So there is no sex differentiation in the chicks, right? There is no sex differentiation. You cannot determine that which is male bird, which is female bird. So if we take a flock of birds, right? If we take a flock of chicks, better to say, then 50% will be male and 50% would be female female that is only known as straight run that is only known as straight run okay so this is another term you should know now once uh, the mature that is above 20 week above 20 week they are sexually mature we call them sexually mature since they are sexually mature they will have intermating once intermating is done we get what we get a layer hen we get a layer hen what is called as layer hen a hen which has the ability to produce egg is known as layer. The layer word is coming from lay, means laying the eggs, right? So it starts from 20 to see. They have attained their sexual maturity over 20 weeks. So now they will have intermating. Now they, the hen will be ready to produce the eggs. So this will be around 20 to 21 weeks, lasting for about 12 months until around 72 weeks. So this is a very important line they ask in the examination. It starts from here, right? Lasting for about 12 months 
until 72 weeks it goes on and the egg producing capacity slows down the peak egg producing capacity of the hen lasts from 26 to 29 weeks this is very important layer lifespan right the a birds which lay uh, eggs right have a lifespan of 1.3 years to 2 to 3 years they sh you should know and backyard poultry that we have in our villages and all right that have a lifespan of 6 to 8 years so this poultry bird the commercial birds have very less lifespan if they are for laying eggs 1.3 to 2 3 years backyard 6 to 8 years and if they are used for the meat purpose they have only a lifespan of 6 to 8 weeks that we call it as a broiler that we call it as a broiler so this is lifespan also they ask when they start producing also they ask when it reaches the peak also they ask what is the lifespan of the birds right in the commercial and in the backyard also they ask so this this these are very important for so once the uh, uh, the bird which lays the egg right and sits around the egg the bird is called as a broody bird right the bird sitting around her eggs after the mating and the laying is called as a broody bird so what happens is that around uh, 24 to 26 hours gap, the uh, bird lays the egg. One, if one egg is laid, then another 24 hour gap, another egg will be laid. This is also asked. And once the first egg is laid, the what happens is that the next egg formation starts within the bird in 30 minutes of time only. The process initiates, okay? So once the egg has been right uh, there so what happens is that the egg needs particular warmth and temperature so in natural conditions the mother bird right will give the warmth to the eggs if this is not possible in the case of commercial cases so they keep the eggs in uh, instrument called as incubator now incubator can be divided into two types the setter and the hatcher the setter is what where the eggs are kept for first 15 days, right? And hatcher is where the uh, eggs are kept for last three days when they are just going to be hatched. So another thing that they ask in the examination, what is the temperature and RH condition for the incubator? So for setter, the temperature is around 99.5 to 99.75 degree Fahrenheit and RH is 55 to 67%. Similar for the hatcher, right? Uh, the temperature is 98.5 degree Fahrenheit and RHS 65 to 75 uh, percent of relative humidity. So these factors are very important and asked in the uh, examination. Another term that we see in examination is the physiological zero. What is What do you mean by physio physiological zero? Anybody who knows the meaning of physiological zero? Physiological zero as the name only indicates the temperature where the embryonic development does not take place. If you write, uh, give the temperature below certain mark, the uh, eggs will not hatch and the embryo uh, inside the eggs will not develop. So that temperature, they ask what is the physiological zero? So it is 75 degree Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. This is very wavy. This is very, very, very important, the physiological zero. So the egg can be uh, right hatched uh, by giving the warmth through the incubator or the, through the mother bird. Once the egg is hatched, right, it gives to the chick, right? It gives to the chick. So this is also very important. So uh, what do you mean by chick, right? As we have seen in the rooster or the hen, what is the age? So we call it as a chick below zero to eight weeks of age. We call it as a chick thing to remember. We call it as a chick, right? Only when it is zero to eight week of age, right? This is there. Now, two more terms associated with eggs that we see spurs. The projections, if you see the minute details in the microscopic view, there are certain projections in the egg that we call at an egg, right? This point. And candling is the visual examination. Candling is the visual examination with the help of the light to see the eggs are okay or not okay, right? This is there. So once the chick grows, right, uh, that is zero to eight weeks, though so now they grow. So after, right, after eight weeks, that is from nine to 20 weeks, they are called as growers. And we call this growers as at this teen age of the hen. So teen age of the hen, the growers uh, last from nine to 20 weeks, right? Clear? So zero to eight, right, their chick, zero to eight is your chick, then nine to 20 is your teenage. And after teenage, what will they will become? They will become mature. So what another term we use, right? We, what another term we use here is what another term we use here is the cochreal and the pullet. Cochreal and the pullet, right? Cochreal is young male chicken typically under young male chicken typically under uh, under one year 
age, right, is called as the cochlea. And pullet is young female chicken, right? It is young female chicken, it is young male chicken under one year of egg. Okay? So we use these two terms also, the pullet and the cochlea under one year of age. So this also you have to remember. Now, as I have told you, the laying starts from here, but for meat purpose, the uh, uh, meat should be tender, right? The chicken should be tender. So age is very less for that. That is your six to eight weeks of age. So both the forms, the male and the female can be used for broiler and it can be six to eight weeks of age. And what happens is that this uh, pullet again, we, we can see the cycle goes on like this. The pullet will become again, right, uh, a mother and she will lay the eggs and the cycle will go on like this. Another few more terms that we see is molting. Molting is the shedding of the feathers is called as molting that we use in the poultry. Crop, what is the crop? Crop is the portion in the digestive system of the bird where it stores the food, where it stores the food before it gets digested, right? So it is known as crop, you can remember. Stack chicken is another uh, terminology that we use for the male chicken up to 10 months of age. In many books, you will see the term stack chicken up to 10 months of age. So you can find a little bit of days, months, week, plus, minus, two, minus, three, four, like that, different author to author. But this is the standard, right? What I have written down, you can remember. This is the standard that you have to uh, remember. So all the terms, I think we have discussed most of the things, whatever they ask in the examination. And the time frame also is very important that they ask in the examination. Hope. It uh, right will help you to understand. It help you to remember the things for your examination very easily. If you right like this video, please subscribe and share this video. And we will try to make uh, more such videos of all the cases. If you will like and subscribe the video. Thank you for my uh, thank you for my dear friends. Uh, this is all about. We will come again for the next video. Bye bye. Take care.